Mailchimp vs MailerLite. Now I've made beginner guides for MailerLite as well as Mailchimp in the past and in this video I just want to compare both of these services and I basically want to help you to find the perfect service for you. Now I think that they both have their advantages but in my opinion there is a clear winner so make sure to watch till the end. Now first of all MailerLite will give you all the features that you need to do email marketing. As you can see you have all of the basic email marketing features like email automations or you can also do email campaigns and on top of that you will get the website builder, landing pages, sign up forms and so on. So you really have the full package and one thing which I have to say about MailerLite that in my opinion it is the best designed email marketing software out there. It, the design is super neat. It, Everything looks super nice and also the drag and drop editor is definitely the best one out there. As you can see, you can just drag your elements from the left onto your email or also onto your landing page and by then just clicking right here, you can edit everything the way you like to and in general everything is just super self-explanatory, which I really like. And on the other hand, the MailChimp editor is also pretty good, don't get me wrong, but definitely a downgrade in my opinion. However, still you can do all of the basic features and you can do all of the basic stuff that you need to. Now one thing which I don't really like about MailChimp is the overall design and the overall haptic of the software. Now in my opinion it is often pretty pretty overcomplicated and they try to make it like in a playful style which I don't really like. I think the more simple approach like on MailerLite is definitely better and is also better for the user experience overall. One thing which you also have to take into consideration is that the overall review on Trustpilot for example doesn't look too good for MailChimp. As you can see MailChimp only has 1.4 stars and MailerLite 4.6 which basically just means that MailerLite generally has a better support than MailChimp. Now let's quickly compare the pricing. Let's for example say that you have 10,000 contacts. That would mean that on MailerLite you would have to pay either $47 or $77 per month. However, I will leave you a link for a 30 day free trial in the description down below which will allow you to just test out MailerLite for free for 30 days. Now on MailChimp for 10,000 contacts you are going to pay between 92 euros to 322 euros and one thing which is also worth noticing is that on MailChimp you actually have a, a monthly email send limit so you can send over 100,000 emails on this plan for example whereas MailerLite has an all-in-one solution and you can basically send unlimited monthly use uh, monthly emails and so generally I personally think that MailerLite is the better option as first of all the design is better, the overall haptic and user interface is better and it is also cheaper. However, you are also not going to be disappointed when using MailChimp. Now I will leave you the beginner guides right here which you can watch to learn both of these tools and thank you for watching.